When I think of Phil Mickelson winning the Open Championship in 2013 at Muirfield, the two shots that stand out for me were his tee shot and his second shot on the par 5 17th hole, 575 yards long, and he knew if he could get the ball in play off the tee and hit a really strong approach shot, walk away with an easy birdie, the Open Championship was likely to be his. And what's interesting about that Open was that Phil did not use a driver, he used a two wood, a 12 degree club. So somewhere between your driver, which is nine or 10 degrees, and your three wood, which is 15 degrees. He figured that was the right club for him on this firm Lynx condition golf course. And coming on Sunday, that last day, he charged up the leaderboard. And right now I'm watching him hit his tee shot here. And it's a little, as I said, we describe it as a two wood. He put the ball up on a tee and he absolutely roasted it off the tee. Got it out there and ripped it down the fairway. When he got to his ball and decided what to do with his second shot, he wanted to go for it, knowing that the ball was gonna land relatively short of the green and hopefully get a good kick. So he hit a low chasing ball. You can imagine hitting a two wood off the deck. It's not gonna go very high, but it's gonna go low. And when it hits the ground, it's gonna run. And it landed absolutely perfectly, got a kick forward and shot up onto the green and gave him an easy birdie. So Phil went on to make an easy birdie on that hole, and as it turned out, he birdied the last hole and won his Open Championship. So what can you learn from this? You can learn that you've got to get the right equipment for the right situation for the right shot. You've got to learn to trust it, and then when the time is right, I always think every round of golf you play, there's always a defining moment of one great shot. As it turns out, Phil had two great shots. But if you give yourself the chance, in every round you play, let there be a defining moment.